trying to learn Morse code in seven days. This is Admiral Jemiah Denton Jr. He is held prisoner during the Vietnam War. But why am I telling you this? And what is this guy doing with his eyes? Looks strange. Well, believe it or not, he's actually saving his life. With his strange eye movement, he sent out the word torture through Morse code. So the US Office of Naval Intelligence knew that he was held in custody and tortured in North Vietnam. Although it's not very likely that any one of you out there, myself included, get captured in a military act, it could still potentially save your life. Besides all of that, I think it's a really funny skill you could use to communicate with your friends. Just like in the one episode of The Office. Stop it. Stop what? You're talking about me in Morse code. But why even bother learning it during an era where we can literally call or text anybody around the globe within a matter of seconds? Well, what about a catastrophe happening? No electricity, no internet, nothing. What can you do now, in case of an emergency? The answer is simple. Morse. You don't need electricity or any technology at all for Morsing to work. That's what makes it so powerful. So, how does it work? In Morsing, you have the regular English alphabet with 26 unique letters. For every letter, there is a Morsing sign attached to it. If you look at the screen now, you probably feel a little intimidated. This alphabet just doesn't make any sense, right? But what if we change it up a little? Does this look any better to you? No? Sure. You still got to remember a lot, but it looks a little less chaotic now, right? The letter E is the most used letter in the English alphabet. Hence it makes sense that the Morse sign for E is the easiest. One dot. On the other hand, the letter Q is the least used letter. Therefore, the Morse signal is harder or longer. The signal for Q goes like this. Following that logic, you could already Morse a lot of words or even build entire sentences if you just get the most frequent and therefore easiest signs right. The sentence I am okay probably won't take you that long to learn. On the other hand, a sentence like this quarantine is really starting to go on my nerves will probably take you more than one afternoon of just trying to understand Morse code. But what do they say? Practice makes Here is my strategy. I want to learn one hour a day for an entire week. If possible, I'll try to split my hour of training into four brackets of 15 minutes and spread them throughout my day, so that my brain gets time to process my learnings as efficient as possible. In the end, I'm going to take a test to find out whether I was able to learn basic Morse code or if I failed terribly. With that being said, let's start the learning. I started off by doing some research on Morsing. And by doing research, I mean watching documentaries of Morsing for two hours. At first I thought I'd had to write down every letter and the corresponding Morse sign to it. But I quickly realized that this was not the right way to really learn Morse code. Sure. You would probably be able to remember the 26 letters in Morse code very quickly if you would go through them one by one. Although you would then have a basic understanding, you really didn't learn Morse code. You want to be able to encode words or even short sentences. Therefore, the so-called Koch method is the standard method to learn Morsing. It's extremely input-based, without any graphical representation whatsoever. You learn solely by sound and train your ears to hear minor differences from the get-go. Once your brain gets used to the fast input and you repeat and repeat and repeat, you'll eventually learn every letter one at a time. I use the site lcwo.net for my learnings. To make sure you don't rush the process, you should have at least 90% correct answers in the program's tests. With every letter you learn, the tests get harder and harder, because old letters that you've already learned before are then taken for granted. Let's start with lesson one. So yeah guys, that was day one. I was able to learn 11 letters, which honestly I think is quite good. Tomorrow 
we're going back to work. See you guys. You know the saying, the quality of your morning determines the quality of your day? Well, on day 2 I woke up at 6.30 in the morning so that I could get an early morning learning session in and for the next 30 minutes it looked something like this. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. I hope my neighbors don't think I'm crazy now. <laughs> Just kidding. They already do. So, might as well keep on going. <laughs> Take this, suckers! Yeah, more sick. At first I thought that I had forgotten every letter that I had learned the day before. But after repeating them for a few minutes, something in my brain clicked. I started to really hear the differences and my brain knew which letter got displayed without me having the chance to think about it. Which was a good thing. Because normally my brain in the morning is like, learning? F*** off. That's all I'm gonna say for day two. Well, I don't think anybody wants to see the footage of me sitting in my room learning Morse code for one hour every day. So I'll just give you a short compilation and then we'll see again in the end where I take my final test. Oh hey, great, you made it to the end. Here's the final test. So, after learning code for 7 hours, I'm now going to take the test on how much I know. I will play a random text on my computer through the LCWO website and I'm going to try to write it down. And don't worry about the phone being stuck onto the microphone, I just don't have another camera to record my handwriting. So yeah, without further ado, let's try it. Uh, Almost forgot to press record. Let's start it off then. Why Heraptor is what you are in Gark? Um, maybe it's more like character is what you are in the... Dark? Character is what you are in the dark. Is that right? Character is what you are in the dark is right. So yeah, I got it. I mean, it's not perfect, but I was able to get the meaning out of it. And I think that's the most important part. So yeah. Shall we take another one? Ah, let's do it.
No good deed goes unpunished. It makes sense. Is it correct 100%? No good deed goes unpunished. Boom. So, we completed Morse code. I know. It was just 5 words per minute and expert Morses can do like 20 words per minute, but this is just way too fast for a beginner like me. You need to put in hours and hours and hours of work to get those numbers. But hey, I'm happy with my result. I got the basics of Morse code down, which might come in handy one day. So yeah, that's the end of the video. And with that being said... Bye.